Hey everybody, I'm Kayla. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the septum piercing. From a piercer's point of view, the angle of the septum is very difficult to get correctly. The placement is in a sweet spot, which is between the septum's cartilage and the edge skin of the nose. This spot is pretty difficult to find on a lot of people, but an experienced piercer should be able to find it with no problem. Because the septum piercing is difficult to get correct on even normal anatomy, having a previously broken nose or deviated septum can greatly reduce the ability to get a septum piercing. If you have had a broken nose or a deviated septum, I would recommend consulting with your piercer to see if it is possible for you to get the piercing. Healing a septum piercing can take about four to six months it has a pretty quick healing process because it is in a place that is mostly always moist. So healing is a little bit easier. The traditional size for jewelry in a septum piercing is 14 gauge. Uh, it can also be pierced as thin as 16 gauge or as thick as 12 gauge. The septum piercing is pretty popular because it is very easily hidden. All you have to do is flip it up your nose and it was like it was never there. If your septum piercing is very fresh and new, then flipping it should be minimal. I personally only recommend flipping it at night before you go to sleep, or if you're more comfortable just leaving it flipped up through the full healing process, that is completely fine. Please only handle your septum piercing with clean washed hands, no matter if it is fully healed or a fresh piercing. A lot of questions I get about the septum piercing or nose piercings in general is how do I blow my nose? What happens if I get sick? When the septum piercing is fresh, you wanna be extremely gentle with it. If you do get sick, just try to clean around the jewelry. But having allergies or getting sick shouldn't be a problem with your new piercing. What I would recommend is just to keep it as clean as possible and keep your hands away from it as much as you can. Even with a healed septum piercing, you might experience having a runny nose more often than usual. That is because your body thinks it's an irritant and wants to get rid of it. Just keep it as clean as you can. It is possible for a septum piercing to have a weird odor. Your skin naturally produces an oil called sebum. It keeps your skin healthy, but a buildup of it can collect dead skin and dirt, and that causes the odor. This usually happens in most healed piercings, but some are more noticeable than others, especially the septum, because it's there and you're smelling it all the time. It's gross. To stop the smell, keep your hands off your piercing as much as you can, and remember to practice good hygiene. The best time to clean your piercing is during a shower. Make sure to use a soap that will not irritate your skin and work it gently into the piercing while you shower. Also, remember to rinse any soap residue away. Stretching a septum piercing is possible, but it can be pretty uncomfortable or really painful. If you do plan on stretching your septum piercing, just be mindful of the type of jewelry that you will use. Larger gauge jewelry that hangs lower can risk damaging your teeth. There is a wide variety of tribal peoples that also pierce their septa. They wear a variety of jewelry ranging from feathers, stone, and bone. Some tribes will also stretch the piercing to up to 25 millimeters or an inch. The septum piercing gained a lot of popularity in the 70s, which a lot of people refer to as a bull ring. Here are a few different types of jewelry. In front we have 16 gauge, which is the thinnest gauge that most piercers are comfortable using. On the left we have a horseshoe, or circular barbell, and on the right, we have a captive bead ring. This size is probably the most common gauge used today. These two are septum retainers. 
These are in 14 gauge. This one on the right is an ohm shape, and this one on the left is a staple shape. 14 gauge was the most commonly used. To compare a 14 gauge and 16 gauge, you may be able to tell which one is thinner and which one is thicker. Here I have a larger gauge septum ring. This one is 12 gauge. Compared to the 14 gauge and the 16 gauge. These three sizes have different diameters, but I will discuss this in another video. And that's all I have for septum piercings. Remember to comment if you have any questions, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!